Guys, we have a story to tell you. Like, who knew this was a thing, first of all? I just finished editing and uploading today's video. Uh, Derek is already at the school. He had to be there for a rehearsal for the Miss Bear River Valley pageant. Um, so I don't know how long he'll be there. He had to be there at like 8 this morning. I have been up since probably 7.30 or 8 with these babies. Hello, Dallas. Hi, baby girl. You've been pretty chill today. You've been so patient, and that's been so helpful for mom. Thanks for being so patient, baby girl. Because sweet Miss Ella here will only sleep if I'm holding her. And if she's not sleeping, she's screaming. And not like the scream we just heard from Dallas. Like, screaming. Are you hungry, Munchkin? We need to see if we can put your sister down so she can feed you. Oh, okay. oh, give me just one minute. All right, ladies. Hello. Everyone's feeling better. We gave Miss Ella some Tylenol. She's back to her happy self. Huh, Miss Ella? Show her Princess Amayo. Where's the Amayo? Yeah, there we go. And Dallas is all ready to go. They just look so cute in their little bows. We're going to visit dad at the school because he's stuck helping with the pageant and is getting pretty hangry. So we're gonna take him some food. However, that means I have to drive the big scary truck and I'm really nervous, so hopefully we don't die. Look at her. Look at her driving the big scary truck. Notice how long it took me to get here. <laughs> we live five minutes away, it took you four hours. What are you doing? Oh. It's pretty scary. I hate it, but I love it. It's not as big as you think it is, right? It's still pretty big. I parked really far away from everything. Well, that's okay. Because I'd rather be really far away than hit something. That's true. Oh, you got you went to my soda place? I did. I oh, knew I, I said, love it. I said he needs this. Did you use my free one? Yes. Good. She was like, do you want to start a thing? And I was like, I guess, because I was thinking it was just a punch card. And she's like, I'll need a phone number. And I was like, wait. He's my husband. give you my husband's. But then, of course, I'm the lame wife who, like, starts to give it. And I was like, crap, I got to pull out my phone. <laughs> I remembered the first, well, I remembered the first, like, well, I guess technically the middle three digits. Because I forgot the area code. And I just started, like, the first three digits of your phone number. And I was like, wait, this doesn't seem right. I see. <laughs> Come on, let me help you with these babies. Okay. Later. Hey, thanks. She doesn't want to drive the truck home, so she's not going to. I don't want to park the truck at home is the main <laughs> right. thing. Look at these munchkins. Hold my sandwich. Hi, munchkins. Oh my gosh, I just had the fullest day at the school. This is my life now, though. This is my life now. Oh, how do you feel about it? Like, I wanted to be in charge, but I wasn't. <laughs> Story of my life. I just had to like sit there and monitor and be there if they had questions, but all I wanted to do is be like, no, don't do it that way, do it this way. But I can't because I'm not in charge. It's fine. Okay, let me help you. Well, this little girl, she thinks she likes to be rocking all the time. Uh, she doesn't think it. She knows it. <laughs> she knows it. She has to be rocking all the time. It's a normal thing for babies though, right? To be just like moving. I don't know. Anyway, guys, we have a story to tell you. Like, who knew this was a thing, first of all? So, remember I was telling you this morning that Ella screamed if I put her down? I think I told you that. That I couldn't put her down, or she just screamed and screamed and screamed, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I like, gave her some Tylenol, and she took a really long nap, and then she seemed to be doing a lot better. Yeah, hold on. You might have to take this camera, because I don't know if I'm making people motion sick, <laughs> because it's like zooming in and out. Okay, so... Um, she was really fussy this morning and even kind of last night every time she woke up She was just screaming and it was the kind of scream where she was in pain and I didn't know what was wrong and 
So my dad was like, well, give her some Tylenol and see if that helps. So I gave her some Tylenol and it like seemed to help. So I was like, maybe she's sick. She's been sleeping a lot. She seems to be in pain. The Tylenol helps. So we kind of moved on with life. So then we went and hung out with Derek at the school. Uh -huh. And then we just got back just a little bit ago. And I had put her in her chair and gone up to change because I was super hot. So I needed to put on a dress. It's hot in that theater. And I come back downstairs and Derek is sitting over with little Miss Ella, who's currently sitting up. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hold, please. Well, Derek, tell your part of the story. My what? Oh, okay. So I was like just playing around with Ella and then I noticed her finger and it was like red. And I was like, what's happening here? And it looked like, well, I knew that it was a piece of hair, a piece of Liesl's hair had been wrapped around her middle finger, like so tight that you could see the indentations of where the hair was and her, the little tip of her finger was like bright red. So I was like, oh no, honey, so, one of your hair is cutting off the circulation. I will show you what her finger looks like now, which it's actually looking better. I don't know if you can tell, this camera doesn't focus very well, she's super squirmy. But, see how it's red? You can still see the indentations of where the hair was, even though we got it out. So there is no hair there currently, but the indentations are still there, like it was cutting off her circulation, and so Derek Googled it, and this is like a real thing that happens a lot. Most of the time it happens on the toe, on baby's toes though, when you put socks on and a piece of hair gets stuck in the sock and then babies are so kicky you know, anyway. Well, and you know how like you're always, Derek's constantly pulling my hairs out of his socks. That's true. Like in the wash, they just- The hairs just get in there. Get in there. So our girls don't really wear socks a ton. It's the middle of summer. Yeah. So I looked it up. I was, I just Googled like hair around baby's finger and it's a real thing that's called a hair tourniquet. Hair tourniquet <laughs> syndrome. Where a hair gets wrapped around like an appendage so tight that it just like cuts off the circulation. How weird. So then I was looking it up to see, cause we weren't sure if we'd gotten it removed cause the indentations were still in there. And I found an article by some parents who it had happened to their daughter on their toe. And the picture they had, they were like, we took this 45 minutes after removing the hair and it still was like red and so I was like, I think that should we, we're probably good then. Yeah. Because they were talking about how they said their daughter was just crying and crying and crying and inconsolable. And so she started to overheat, so they took her sock off and noticed her toe. And so they hurried and removed it, but it stayed like red like that for a while. So, but this munchkin, so she, she was really upset this morning. She doesn't seem to be in pain anymore. Look at those smiles. <laughs> so I'm gonna say we probably got the hair. I think we're good. Hope so. She's feeling much better, but we're just gonna keep an eye on that finger to make sure. And instead of me shaving all my hair off, <laughs> Because she was like, the only way to stop it is to shave my head. Derek promptly said, this isn't your fault. <laughs> okay. That's mother anyway, syndrome. That is Thinking everything's your fault. Well, yes. <laughs> but, so now we will periodically be checking our children's hands and toes to make sure that my hair is not wrapped on them. Because we all know, shed. You do. Like something that sheds a lot. You're pretty sheddy. Like a kitty. I feel like I'm worse than the cats. Like <laughs> clumps of my hair come out in the shower. It's horrible. Oh. I'm gonna go bald of my own accord oh. just because my hair falls out. Oh. Anyway, that's our story for you. So if you have young children, watch for that hair. Check their fingers and toes. It can also wrap around other appendages that I won't mention. <gasps> <sighs> oh my gosh. No. Um, but here's the plan for tonight. Derek's sister, Kristen, as we mentioned yesterday, is in Disneyland. Oh, sorry. We're pretty mad about it. We're oh, not. I want to be there. We are. We're upset. We're jealous. It's fine. Ooh. We're staging a takeover, and we're going to go do a live sale on her Facebook page for her LuLaRoe. So, that'll be fun. Go check out her LuLaRoe page. Link's below. You can see the live video after it's been posted. It won't be live when you watch it, but... You'll be able to see our shenanigans and how terrible we probably are at selling Lulu. <laughs> it's gonna be entertaining. If, if nothing, nothing else, else, we'll probably be it funny. Will be funny. <laughs> okay, well, that's our story. Here we go. Tomorrow. Well, next day. 
Does it surprise you? Not at all. And that's okay, right? Liesl's a little indecent right now because she's pumping. So she won't be able to be in this ending. Sorry about it. But you can hear her. She will yell at you. Um, guys, last night we took a, we did the LuLaRoe takeover and that's pretty much all we did because after that we were so tired and exhausted that we just crashed when we got home. So that's our story and we're sticking to it. Um, so if you want to see us in the live video, you're going to have to go like my sister's page. I will put the links down below. Go like her page, join her group. Um, and you can watch us try and sell LuLaRoe because it was quite the adventure. Um, we sold a few things though, so great. But it's so exhausting to do that. I have a greater appreciation for what my sister does. Especially since she goes on for hours. And she goes on for hours. We did it for like maybe total one hour. It was like an hour and a half. -ish. An hour and a half. So, um, <laughs> she gets, and her energy always stays the same. Like I was losing it by the end. Um, but yeah, go watch yeah. us Let's try and sell Lularo. We were, we were not knowing what to do. It's fine. Um, yeah. thanks for watching today. Hair tourniquets, who knew they were a thing? Watch out for them. We're going to check our baby's fingers and toes forever. Yeah. Um, like, subscribe, and share. And as always, have courage. And be kind. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Ow.